Welcome everyone, this is Toy Nuts. Today we're going to be doing a little shopping trip to the Disney Outlet in Branson, Missouri. This Disney Outlet is located within the Tangier Outlets in the uh, Branson area. I'll drop the uh, address and all the information down below in the description. This Disney Outlet's a little different from uh, some of the other uh, Disney stores that you'll see because uh, it, it, it does have standard Disney store merch. In that, but this one is uh, packed pretty good with a lot of uh, overstock or uh, older park merch. And so, yeah, it, it's a really cool store. I get up here about every two to three months because it's about a two and a half hour drive for me. But it's a well worth it for if you're a Disney fanatic. Can't always get to the parks and that. Uh, yeah, and some of the discounts are really good, especially when you hit them when they have their... Uh, take additional off of clearance uh they usually when they get this new stuff in they'll be just standard clearance markdown then after a couple of months they'll go like take an additional 25 then an additional 50 percent and then that's when the stuff really flies out and then they'll uh, rotate some new merchandise in so that's why you know one reason i always try to get up here about every about three months or so because <clears throat> that's usually when they'll start getting new merch in and this stuff gets blown out uh, as you can see, the Main Street Mickey merchandise here, the ears are about $15 in that. I wouldn't be surprised within uh, a couple of weeks here, they'll put the uh, take an additional 20% off on those, and th they should fly out of here pretty good. But yeah, they got a good assortment of uh, merchandise in here from the parks. As you can see, the shirts, several plushes, and that. Uh, some of this is pretty new. Uh, most of it is uh from the uh, fall season but you know hey every little bit helps and i mean it's a really it's a it's a cool store to get to if you're within the driving distance definitely something you might want to stop at here you can see they got some of the home goods items uh there are some christmas yeah but a lot of the uh, are from uh, last summer and uh, fall uh that's one of the cool things is also when they start it's like though there's a couple of Disney outlets closer to the uh, parks in Orlando and a lot of the uh, festival merchandise will hit there first and then it seems like what doesn't sell from there after a bit, then it will get distributed up to this one and a couple others throughout the country. So it's a neat little way they've got their uh, distribution set up with it. And like I said, you always have to keep checking it because this merchandise does swap in and out. Uh, as you can see, like I said, it, and it's just about everything. They had the puzzles, the games, the Madame Leota uh, little statue head. That, that thing is cool. Those Crocs uh, came out right around uh, late uh, summer there. And that, and then the mugs. I mean, and they're, like I said, they're pretty decently priced in that. You know, the, the mugs are about anywhere between uh, 8 to uh, $12 a mug. These are the... Uh, Christmas Starbucks mug and of course the 50th mugs and these things you know they were hard to get for a while there in the parks now they're overstock and they're getting kicked out here and that of course always have a good assortment of ornaments and then the lounge fly bags uh these are always hit and miss on when they get here uh I was informed when the day I came it was uh yeah they just got in these uh newest assortment of the uh, lounge flies here and they're about anywhere between twenty to seventy dollars off of uh, their standard retail price for the lounge flies. And again, more of these bags. Uh, there were several people looking at them when I got here, and uh, yeah, they the limit to the bags are like one to two bags per person per design, uh, because yeah, this is a big flipper market here for the bags. And they always have a good little assortment of pins here. Uh, a lot of these in the little cups are those uh, princess portrait uh, pins to go with the dolls. You see a couple phone cases and a lot of the uh, Main Street Mickey pins. And one interesting thing, they have the Marvel Legends uh, Infinity Gauntlet. That was down to 60. Uh, the two uh, samurai-inspired uh figures those were down to 89 a piece i believe that was but yeah just like i said it is very hit and miss and yeah just an eclectic assortment like more of the main street plush those i'm sure will be hitting the uh, extra discount here pretty fast 
And then it does have a lot of your standard Disney store type merch. But again, all these racks over on this side here, this entire side of the store is nothing but clearance, park uh, souvenirs, clothing and everything. As we swing over to this side, these are the, a lot of the mugs that you'll see in the store. But this here is uh, some extra park exclusive type merch. There's the dolls again. You'll see those. Those are still, I believe, online on Shop Disney at full price. Um, more of the toy box figures. Again, this is more of the uh, online store. But an interesting uh, mix of stuff. On the back half, got some black series and a that just the one Mordo from the Marvel Legends wave, but the Sol Guerrero was uh, he was marked down to 18, uh, and the other standard Black Series figures are about 16 apiece. And again, a lot of this clothing here is all what you'd see on the uh, Shop Disney site or in a standard Disney store. Uh, there is like one or two little bits of merchandise here. The Numios, those are pretty much exclusive to the parks and online. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's like I said, I love going in here. You never know what you're going to find. And when they get their uh, clearance going, with their, you know, taking additional off, this stuff just flies right out. And then, you know, within like a month, you got to get back here to catch the reset. And then you'll see right over here, there's some of the uh, Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. They got a couple of the ornaments, a couple of the plush Mickey and Minis, uh, the Haunted Mansion Crocs here for kids. And then over on this side here, more of those Main Street Mickey ears. These were pretty popular when they were launched. Obviously, I think they overproduced them. But uh, yeah, I expect these will be uh, also hitting that uh, extra clearance here pretty quick. Oh, a couple of those on the bottom there. Those are just standard uh, park years. Uh, they got a nice assortment of just standard uh, gift bags here. So if you're in the Branson area or the Springfield, Missouri area, I recommend heading on over. Springfield, Missouri is only about an an additional 45 50 minutes away but i'll drop all the information on the store on the disney outlet here and the tangier outlets in the description down below i want to say thank you for coming along this little shopping trip with me have a wonderful day and of course as always excelsior